All right, all right, all right. You already know your boy Blade, the AI chat bot challenger. <laughs> Yo, we're back again with another AI chat bot. This time we'll be setting it up for credit companies. In which case, what this bot is going to do is it's going to pre-qualify. It's going to ask for credit monitoring, and then it's going to schedule the appointment. So what I mean by that, it's going to pre-qualify them, ask them a couple of questions like, hey, what's your credit score? Um, what discrepancies do you have? Do you have any bankruptcies? Um, what's your what's your budget? Do you have enough money? And then it's going to say, hey, you got to sign up for like Identity IQ, credit, whatever credit monitoring service you have. And then finally, 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 it's going to book that appointment on your go high level calendar. So let me show you guys how it's done. So, of course, of course, of course, what we need to do is we need to have two pages up, guys. First, we got to have Zapier over here. And then second, we got to have Go High Level. And for those of you guys who have not joined Funnel Hacker Labs yet, make sure you check out Funnel Hacker Labs. Because if you want to be up there in the latest, greatest Go High Level news, if you guys want to network with the best, with the best alpha funnel marketers, guys, click the link below. Make sure you check out Funnel Hacker Labs, guys. Simple. Facebook.com slash group slash funnel hacker labs. <laughs> I love this mic. All right, let's get into this shit. So we're over here, my boy Fresh Beginnings Credit is one is the one that we're going to be building it out on. So let me pull up his account right now. All right, so we just pulled up his account. So what we got to do is we got to do a couple of things first. So as you guys probably already done, first things first, import the zap your template the actual pre-qualify words pre-qualification template on zapier and then also make sure you import the actual snapshot automations that are found over in the funnel hacker labs membership guys you guys aren't a funnel hacker lab member what are you guys doing make sure you check over here go to funnel hacker labs over here look at uh, go ahead level is a little slow sometimes do, 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 do. Go over to training and assets. And you click on the AI chat bot installation. It'll give you the entire import link for this bot. So let's get started. So like I said, the first couple of things that we need to be able to do is we need to make sure that we actually import everything. Next thing you got to do is you got to set up the web hooks, you know, custom values and stuff. Let's go over here. Go to Zapier over here. Go over here. Do, 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 do. I'm going through this quick catch web hook trigger. Keep that blank test. Boom, boom, boom. I'll make sure I put my face, my handsome face over there. I'm going to grab this over here and go to fresh start. I'm going to go over here, settings, custom values. I'm going to go over here. We're going to make sure that the web hook for where are you, web? Oh, his isn't imported just yet. So let me just make sure we get this shit imported. We're going to go over to the Funnel Hacker Lab membership. We're going to go over here. We're going to go understand import your AI bot. And I'm actually going to take this. I don't want you guys taking this without being a Funnel Hacker Lab member. So I'm going to grab this snapshot. All right. Now that I went into this one over here and I grabbed the actual link, now I can paste it. Boom. All right. Shoot. Don't look. Secret link, super, super secret link. Cool. I think we should be good now. Did it import? Make sure it did. Hold up a second. All right, we're back. So what I got to do really quick, I had to make sure I got my agency access so I can actually get the link over here. But actually, I don't want to show you guys the link. All right, so what I did is I took the link, I copy and paste into here. Now what we're going to do is you see we got the snapshot under the agency settings, all right? We got, oops, account snapshots, own snapshots, I mean, import snapshots, uh, appointments out of V2. All right, so we're going to go over now to sub-accounts. Fresh start over here. We're going to click on this. We're going to click on actions, load snapshot, boom. Appointments out of V2. By the time you watch this video, guys, honestly, V3 will probably be out already, which overall is just going to make it a whole lot easier, a lot simpler. Just going to take all this, just import it all. Uh, we don't even need the robot webhook anymore, that's what I'm saying. 
So we don't need this anymore. A lot of this, let me pause really quick. Deselect a lot of this. Okay, so because we are updating to V3, and I don't have it on here yet, by the time this video is out, the new links will be out already, just making your whole life a whole lot easier. Um, so this is all we're going to need for this. You know, just a couple of pieces of additional info, custom values, tags, and a couple of workflows. Let's proceed. Got anything to overwrite? Nada. Move on. Let's switch the sub account. Right. And while this automation is loading up, I'll take off my sweatshirts. I'm getting a little hot in here. That off. All right. Now I got GPT automations over here. So conversation handling, chat GPT response handling, send chat GPT requests, set fake email. I'm going to go over to here, go to some fields, custom values. I mean, we're going to make sure we get the GPT-3 webhook, which we got over here. We're going to grab this, grab this webhook, go over to here. Where's this GPT webhook right here? Boom. Boom. Cool. Next thing you got to do is make sure this account has content AI. I don't know if he has it here. So go switch to agency view. I'm going to go over to this guy has content AI. Billing snapshots. Don't think he has it. Let's see. There we go. Conversion AI. Let's enter on all these things. Most you need that one. I'm also going to need all of them here, which may help. Not too crazy about content and AI over here. That's fine. Boom. Fresh start. All right now I got conversions AI set. Go to settings over here and go to convers conversion suggestive. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Click on all of the point booking. We're scheduling them into schedule. Book your free credit consultation call. Okay, we're going to go over to here, conversation flow. A couple of things that we're going to need to do. Let's go over here. I don't know what this is. Go over here. All right, got this all set here. Test trigger. Well, can't really test it because no one's getting it right now. There's no... Does add a contact really quick. For example, like Blade. Blade is the main. Test. Uh, it's Gmail. I'm just gonna add them to that workflow just so we can get that test in. I'm gonna duplicate contents. I guess we already have me there. There we go. Click on this. Go here to a response. We got the booking bot. We set, we set. We don't even need this anymore. For, actually, no, we do. So it's calling me. Go over here, workflow. We're gonna add them to. This guy's got a lot here. I'm going to add them to conversation handling. I just add on to the Amber Texas guy that I'm busy right now. I'm on a call. I'm going to make sure that pretty much this is going through. It should be contact created. So we got what I do actually I lied. Yeah, first you have to delete this. I'm gonna have to make sure we add myself as a new contact. That's my bad. Blade test. 
Last on gmail.com. And you always got to make sure it's like a different email. So it was just like had a couple of random letters. Because the way it works is that the bot remembers the conversation based upon the memory. So that just went through. Good sign. Doing good there. Which means that it's most likely sent it out to here. So now we can actually test trigger. Listing, listing, listing. This way, I got my request. Take a slack of record. Connect to chat GPT. We'll just connect it with mine really quick. Let me go over to my open AI. What would you look at? Like open AI playground. I'll grab a couple of my chat GPT things. Go over here. Go over to manage view API keys. I'm going to go over to here. Call this one. Was it fresh beginnings? I think fresh start credit fair. Secret key, grab this key. I'm gonna go back over here. Boom. You guys done there. Now we're gonna let this just import on in. Sweet. And I marine I rename these I keep myself organized, even though this is not in my account. Can you use your message? So what I'm gonna do just to make myself because I don't have all these memorized. I just gotta redo all these here. All right, so I'm gonna go over here, and you're gonna see this on yours. You should go to Fun Hacker Labs. I'm gonna go over to Trainings and Assets. Go over here. Yeah, chat bar install. Oh, it's the old one. Oops. All right. What we're going to do is go API key next to action, user message, zap your populated lead response. So zap your populated. And go over here. I just look at lead response. Your response, Christian, something. My face, my handsome face to the left will be here. Making sure we're still sharing the screen. GPT-3 Turbo. Memory key is going to be, whoop, what was it? That beer con. ID. That beer avocado name. Username. First name, first name, assistant name, uh, Thomas. This instructions is AI prompt. Go here. This is the Lux Bonnie one. Lux Bonnie questions. I'm gonna grab here. Not the credit pair one. Uh, back. All right, so let's actually let's do this. He's finished with the rest. Let's now get the prompt. But we got this. You know, I'm sure. Max open 250 temperature. We could do one. I'm going to lower mine to like 0.6 or lower. How much temperature is like the variation in it? As in variation, as in it being. The dynamically changing conversations every single time it goes out. So the lower it is, the less it changes every single time it goes out. So health assistant, I'm gonna get the credit pair one. Let's get this one. Let's get this. Make sure you pause this. 
I'm clicking on this, open a prompt, go to the very bottom, because then we, now we have the credit pair prompt on here. Grab some side thing. Oh, let me scroll, it's so annoying. Copy that. This is going to be Boom. Continue. No, I can visual editor. I think it's so zoomed in. I think this is I just want to go out of account. It's got to be that one. All right, now we're going to go over to action. Sorry if this load up. All we need is the email here. And this is going to be based upon the one that we got here. My Zapier, business profile settings, custom values. Right now we're doing the actual Zapier. I have a second and update yeah. contact with e-connect where they're with you're calling me. I have a second action. Uh, update contact under account. Change the new one to API key. Cool. Next, so business profile settings. Right. So over here, we're going to make sure that this one is... Right. So, I don't know why it's like so big here. <laughs> kind of confused, whatever. I'll make sure I fix it later. Uh, next up is the action. Fill out the email with the Zapier populated email. Zapier populated email. And go all the way down. Mark lead is false. Uh, chat should be D with open AI populated reply. Open AI populated reply. Only save and publish is out of your workflow. Go there at the bottom of those. Publish. And now we gotta make sure we actually fix up the prompt, make it look good. Right. So obviously I'm gonna rename this not and it's not first class credit consultants, the price isn't that. Um, website got to change. Pretty much, I'm just changing out the names here. I'm gonna do that right now. Let me pause for that. So as you save, as to save you time, I just replace it with the company name on here. Pretty simple. Not publish, publish, publish. Let's go back over here. Now, what you're supposed to do is go to Conversation AI. To be honest, you don't really need that. Oh, I thought I did this already. Go there. Oh, I forgot to press save. This, book free credit consultation call, Conversation Flow. Let me make sure I save this here. All right. Let's grab these pre-qualification questions. Oh, the slash there. I was editing this thing so annoying. So once you click on this, it takes you to the very bottom, which is so dumb. Conversation workflow. No, the questions. This one here. Go, let's grab your questions. Make sure you publish. All I just do is remove that line. It's fine. Go over here. First question, save. Next question. Let me these questions under here. Pretty simple. Just so the bot understands what we do when. All right. Boom. Honestly, we don't even need these because it's not going to use these. 
He's using the pre-qualification bot. Depends if you're doing it a different way. You could ask the Q&A so it teaches the bot how to do it, but you don't really need it right now, to be honest. You can add all these. Like, this is going here. How do I get your number? So I'll pretend like we got this one. Cool. Over here, over here. Oops, over here. You know, once again, you don't need it. Oops, over here. Sweet. You want a number? I'll even on that page. I just typing all day. My fingers are starting to kill me. Okay, sorry, the camera service. Let's add them real quick. It's copy and paste. Let me just skip this. So I'm for you guys. All right. We got that all filled out there. We set. We ready, 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 ready. Spaghetti. I don't know. All right. So now we're going to do is go over here. Oh, I already got the message. I forgot about that. Just click. Respond to this. I mean, that might not work because we got like a new workflow now. Honestly, I might just re test it from the very beginning. So we know it's not going to work. Let me just go over here. Need that contact. So I'm going to restart at the beginning, even though it did work, actually. Oh, cool. I want to start restart from the very, 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 very beginning. Right, cool. Played. Probably like, whoa, who uses AOL? I'm like, only for testing, because nobody knows how to use it. Right, cool. That's working there. Bot's going out. Pre-qualification portion. Like I said, there's two portions of the bot. Pre-qualification and the actual scheduling of the bot. So let's go back to automations now. We got to set up the... Um, we do automations. And set up the new workflow. Start from scratch. Five. Now it's going to be whenever... Contact by replied specifically to bot status on or when contact change to bot status has changed to bot. Then so activate this campaign over here. And what I want to do is I'm going to put some other screen over here so I remember exactly what I kind of set up here. It's going to be a little easier for you guys because you guys just already have the direct import link. But so first thing first, once they do this, you got to make sure that the booking bot sends out the actual bot. All right, we're moving our workflows first. For my workflows, not including this one, then we set up the actual AI appointment booking bot. Booking bot. Oh, he doesn't have the agency pro plan. It's annoying. Okay, so then we're going to have to go with V2. So if you don't have the agency pro plan, you need to use the V2 version, which is you're gonna, still going to have to use our Zappy Chat feature. So this won't work. Let's go back over here. So let's delete this. All right, we'll go back to here. No problem. We can do this. We got this. We can do it. Snapshot. Boom. Now we'll just import the entire snapshot. Skipping the calendars where you have that. Proceed. It has a bunch of conflicts, but we're just gonna skip conflicts. Cool. Now it should work. So now we actually have to do one extra step. We actually have to use the Zappy Chat. So 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up another one over here for fresh regains credit. Oh, yeah, it's annoying. Whatever, guys. We gotta do. You only gotta set up once, which is nice. So go over here, go to zap, zap here, go to my zaps. And this is the portion where I actually, if you have this, I'll actually set this up on your end for you guys. All right, so the way this works is that you're going to give me the actual onboarding server, and I'm going to set all this up for you, so don't you worry. So it's just, or if you sign up with with uh, fun, with the Funaka Lab membership, you're going to get access to the Go High level, in which case you're going to directly get access to the actual AI bot, which is going to make your life so much easier, and overall my life so much easier too. But no worries, so I'm going to go over here, continue. Oh, whoops, where did this? Can I choke? Continue. That's sure. Continue stock record. Now, give me the freaking web hook. There you go. That's web hook. That's what I need. Give me that. 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 Settings over here. Custom values. Um, because we don't need the conversation AI because he doesn't even have it. So we're gonna go over here. Hundred. Gonna go over to robots webhook right here. Boom. Link that up there. Boom. Now we're gonna have to get the calendar ID. Open AI FAQ. We need a couple of things over here. So this is now we need the calendar ID. All right, book your free credit consultation call. So grab this, grab permanent link, go over here, paste it over there. You're going to grab this portion, copy that, go back over to custom values, uh, calendar link, donde esta, uh, calendar ID, here we go. Paste it right into there. This way the bot can actually paste, the, the bot can actually Put the meeting under your high level calendar. Scroll down, logo, don't have that, my score. What is my score IQ? We need that. We're gonna have to take that and put it onto his Zapier. Break it to the Zapier go. Did I delete it by accident? I guess I did. That affiliate link, we need to make sure that we add it to Zapier. So this, good thing we came back, so you gotta change that link. Paste it there. Boom, delete that one space, delete that space, cool. Over here, publish, all set. And I got the actual affiliate link on there as well too. We're good there. Go back to custom values. We need to make sure that we get the, this is not part of it, but credit repair. Constitution. All right, now we need open AI FAQ and open AI prompt. Go over here. Go back. Come labs. Trains and assets. Let's go down. AI yeah, chatbot install. Auto setups for a robot AI point setter. Kind of fill out the form first, install it. Oh, yeah. So, it's like, oh, what should we need? It's in here. Custom values. So, what we need to do is we need to make sure open AI FAQ can be found in the prompt, which we have right over here. Let's go back to the Google Drive. For this, I'm going to need to have two sections. We're going to have one section for if you're on 
the final hacker lab go high level you don't need the robot bot or if you have your own go high level and need to use the zappy chat bot that's how we're gonna have to set it up Where is this? Wait, this is the open FAQ. Event. Open AF prompt. And obviously, we got to fill this out with all the right information. Mm, right, it looks like gosh. I'm getting a little lazy. All right, that's my bedtime. All right, Thomas. Fresh beginnings. But grind don't sleep. We don't need where you locate, to be honest. Nobody ever asked that. How much does it cost? Our service costs. Ooh, what is his service cost? Let me get his pricing here really quick. He's having monthly. How much is a setup? He's got a setup fee as well, too. This setup is all right, two eighty seven to start plus eighty seven monthly. Two eight seven. All right, setup fee and then eighty seven monthly. Go to the very bottom, grab his email. It's his email. <laughs> Give that a second again. Another business profile, real quick. It's over here. No, it's not there. Business profile. There it is. Got that email. Stole that sheet. That email at the bottom. There we go. Nice. Now finish up this last one. I'm pretty sure we should be good there. All we need is the open AI FAQ and the open AI prompt for the robot to actually work. Here are the variables. Oh wait, alias name is Samus. Samus. Fresh. Nice, 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 nice. Crazy here. All right. I appreciate everything here. You just double check my. Oops, let me go back. Should check my stuff. Mm. Got the robo webhook, open AFQ, open air prompt, alias. Oh, open a prompt. Did I get that? All right, got that. Sweet. All right, so now we should be ready to rock. All right, let's go back. Let's make sure that this gets triggered by a 15 minute credit consultation first. Booking bot trigger send message to robot. The contract changes bot, contract changes the bot. Cool. Let me make sure one more thing. That's what starts the actual booking bot. Like I said, the pre two parts of this pre qualification and then the actual Zappy Chat booking bot. Over here, here, here. You want to make sure that fifteen minute cool. And it offers a fifteen minute 
consultation then the book and bot will go out so we're going to go back we're going to continue this conversation that i'm having with the bot uh, uh, 600 credits and i have high high utilization so i don't want to see us too much i'm going to go through this prompt really quick if anything's wrong, I'll let you know. All right, so really quick, this one was unsuccessful over here, mainly because he needs to make sure that this is a toll-free number. So toll-free number or like, yeah, so he didn't do the, the registration as a toll-free number, but no worries. He teaches us over here. Another thing over here, that's a simple fix. Let's go to Trust Center Verification Center. Trust Center Verification <laughs> Over here, 50 minute credit consultation before we receive may have your first name. That's an easy issue to fix. You go over here, pre-qualification. I'm glad I showed you that. What I forgot is customer fields over here. First name, we forgot to fill that one out. So we go over here, action, customer fields. Click right there. Oh, click on it. Boom, space. Now I go to first name. Now we can publish. And another thing too, the bot didn't send out. Oh no, oh, it's over. He, he offered the 50 minute kind of consultation, got bot status as bot. But what I realized, I forgot to hit publish on this. So <laughs> that's embarrassing. No, good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to delete this. Thomas Zabby Chat booking bug over here. Make sure it's the right account. Oh, it's the wrong Zabby Chat account, too. Let me set this up really quick. This is really easy to set up. App. That's good. And this is good. And change this one out. It needs to connect a new account. Apply as my partner here. Go over here. Connect it with. Now. Oh, I need the API key again. Forgot about that. Uh, agency API key you can find over here. Easy to view. Settings. Uh, I might just switch out both API keys, the agent, the open AI API keys, because I want them both to be the same. Press start, grab this. Agency API keys here, tab. Chat, GPT. I'm going to do this fresh start. Let's get this one. Oh, can I did it? Oh, so I can get that key. Go here. Here's no key. Go here. Go here. Boom. It's a key. Shh, don't talk about this. Go here. Go here. Oops. Qualification start. Where the freak did you go, man? No. I'm sure I'm going crazy. Honestly, probably going crazy. Okay, let's just restart there. This is the ChatGPT one. Let's go over here. Let's update this. Let's update this one first. Edit. So this one's off now. Count. Change. And you should reconnect here. Fix that. We're also going to do this for the publish. Publish. We're also going to do this for the Zappy chat. Go here to the account. I'm just going to fresh beginnings. Hmm. 
nodes his GHL. Okay, credit. It's fine. Okay. All this leaves the same. Um, because it wasn't published when I did it, so publish. All right. That's a skip because no API went into Zappy Chat because I didn't publish it by accident. We did a dummy. It's okay. It's good. Okay, let's just start. Let's run it, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Well, for the tap, for the tap, for the tap, tap, tap. Hey, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. Let this load up. Now you guys can enjoy my beautiful rap. You know me, I be making it happen. Making this Zabby chat by, oh yeah. Huh, I'm really, really hot. Huh. Yeah, it's scary. I know, guys, don't worry. But hey, at least I'm... Help you guys out, teach you how to set up this bot. I might not be the best rapper, but I do know go ahead and have like that back of my hand. All right, let's go. 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 Let's fake email. Nobody uses AOL. He's not. 201 565 5506. I swear, guys, if you guys watch this video and you guys start spam calling me, spam texting me from my phone, I'll be pissed. All right, let's go. Fine. Yes, all right. So let me go through this prompt and we'll pause this one. Wish you guys time. <clears throat> oh, another thing is that I realized is that what happened is it first sent out. Boom, we've got to send out. Maybe. You got to make sure that this over here at fresh beginnings. This is Thomas. Thomas with fresh. What would you like to know about Thomas, Thomas Collins? Uh, what? Everything. And that workflow, that initial conversation that's sent out is just literally the first one. Just make sure you change that one out as well, too. But we get back to this conversation with this bot just to make sure it's doing this thing. All right, over to here. Let me pause it again. All right, so we scheduled up the appointment here. We had one more issue over here. So what it did is it asked them for... I love how it's not showing right now. It's kind of annoying. I'm trying to say, ask them, can you confirm, can you please give me your company name, email, and phone number? So we got to make sure it doesn't ask that. And then after that, it kind of like starts a new conversation saying, hey, this is Thomas to Fresh bringing his credit. We were speaking previously about fixing credit. How can I help you? So I'm going to change that as well, too. So let me schedule. I'll see what we here. Doesn't need this. Let me make sure that's out. So go pre-qualification. Go over here. I found where it's the company name. Right here, I'm just gonna completely just take that out. We don't really need that, at, like even at all. <laughs> so let's go over here. Just gonna see if it works better if we just completely just take that out. Just gonna feel his first name. We already have that. First name. Make sure I don't have anything else that says phone. Let's see, we don't have a button. 287 actually. Let's go ahead and change that too. Let's mm. reset there, publish that, publish. Now let's change out the custom value for the robot over here. Custom values. Right, and you have a prompt over here. It is it is Thomas Thomas Irving Cooper. This pan is only going out this down. Let's 
to buffer times. Schedule uh, Hmm. Yeah, this is the AI's name is Thomas. Thomas has already been conversing and talking to this person. They are already qualified for our offer for quarter per services. Thomas only go announced offer times available to schedule a client. Consultation fresh for getting spread. Consultation. Cool. Contacts. Here, the lead contact. All right, so we should be all set now. The only issue is that I'm sending out this twice, which isn't really an issue because I know exactly how to fix it. Look, we have two appointments coming out, two appointment reminders here. And I think one is just as like repetitive because the way this client has his account set up. Like this one better. Let's do this one. Turn this one off. Boom. Problem solved. Cool. So guys, that's it. That's really how you set it up. Um, pretty simple. I highly recommend that instead of using Zappy Chat, you do use the Funnel Hacker Lab membership program because overall it just makes it a whole lot easier, especially when you're coming back to fix things. Um, you use it under our Go High Level account. It just makes it a whole lot freaking easier for you guys. Um, plus you get our support as well too. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this help. Hope I can't wait for this to transform the entire way. You start scheduling up appointments, pre-qualifying appointments. And in addition to this, you can use this for some uh, reactivation campaigns to get past stale leads back into the pipeline, you know, send them out to this. Um, have this bot pre-qualify them, you know, ask them a couple of questions. You can set up this bot to quite literally just do anything. It's it's amazing. I made another video where it has it talks about my funnel hacker lab uh, AI chatbot, in which case it has a couple of upsells and a couple of down sells. And I showed you exactly how to organize that. So if you need help with that, check that out as well too. Once again, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, Funnel Hacker Lab membership is super easy to get to. And I highly recommend, at least the very minimum, check out that Facebook group, guys, because we give a ton of advice, plenty of alpha on there. Just check it out, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.